This next battle has bad blood written all over it. It's time for Liam Gallagher and Matt Dawson. This young competitor was undefeated as an amateur and impressed in his pro debut at BTC 14 in London. Now, he looks to keep his winning streak going. My name is Liam Gallagher. I train at Vision Quest MMA in Denbrook, Ontario. Yeah, obviously my pro debut, I went up a weight division. I had success. I got the finish. I'm just looking to keep that momentum riding. And as far as uh, Matt Dawson, he's a tough fight. I know he's a tough fight. That's why I wanted it. And I'm excited. And a win over Matt Dawson looks looks good on me. And obviously that's what I plan on doing July 9th. I plan on going out there. He's had over 20 fights between amateur and pro, and he's never been finished. I plan on being the first guy to finish him. That's what the, the method behind the call out was. I like the matchup. I like the fight. So I asked for it. Oh, knowing Matt Dawson, knowing his style, I know he's not going to go out easy. I know it's not going to be one shot that necessarily takes him out. I think it's going to be a buildup of tactical strikes and just pick him apart. Like he said, he hasn't been finished. I look to be the first one to finish him. And I feel like the path to that success is just slowly breaking, staying tactical, picking away and seeing openings, frustrating him. Never one to back down from a challenge, this warrior was game to take on a challenge after a brazen social media call out. What do you know about your opponent, Matt, and uh, Liam Gallagher? Because it looked like he kind of called you out there on social media. Oh, he did. Oh, he did, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, I think he's just a young young pup trying to make a name for himself. And what better off to do it than call out a fan favorite like the big dog right here, the pit bull, right? He's a stand-up technical striker. I'm, I'm kind of more of a brawler striker, you know. But I give him props, you know. He, uh, he's got balls for calling a guy out like me. Now it's game on. Like, you're going to get punched in the chin. And it's going to hurt. You want to hashtag 2-0, hashtag finish, whatever you want to do on social media. I've had over 20 fights and no one's finished me. So get in line, buddy. I'm just going to pressure him and he's going to make a mistake. He's got, what, six fights in total? Five amateur, one pro. So we'll see what uh, happens there. The temperature on this battle is going through the roof. It's time for the battle between Liam Gallagher and Matt the Pitbull Dawson. Very anticipated bantamweight matchup. Matt Dawson, five years older than Liam Gallagher, just a one-inch one inch height advantage. The weight is going to be interesting as well. Five-inch reach advantage as well for Gallagher, but Dawson came in at 132 pounds, as you see there. Normally the natural 125-er. We'll see how moving up a weight class affects him, because the last time Matt kind of moved in that 130 area, it was his catch weight at 130. Here we go, BTC Fight Fans. The following matchup is scheduled for three rounds in the Bantamweight division, being brought to you tonight by Unloaded Force. Hats, hoodies, t-shirts, and MMA gear. Get it all at UnloadedForce.com. Formally introducing all three men in the cage at this time, starting with your referee, Graham Betts. And now your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks trimmed in white. Standing 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighed in at 131.6 pounds. He is a brawling striker representing CK Combat. He comes to the BTC cage with an even record of two wins and two losses. With one win coming by way of submission. And one big win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Chatham, Ontario, ladies and gentlemen, here is Matt the Pitbull Dawson. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in green and white. Standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, he rated at 134.6 pounds. He's a kickboxing specialist representing Vision Quest MMA. He comes to the BTC cage undefeated with a record of one win, no losses and no draws. With that one win coming by way of submission. 
fighting out of and representing Binbrook, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Leo Gallagher! Referee Graham Betts with final fight instruction. Fight hard, fight fair, protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch them up and return to your corners. Ladies and gentlemen, this BTC Bantamweight matchup will be decided in three rounds. Very thunderous ovation for Liam Gallagher and for someone making your only your second pro fight. I wonder how that plays into the effects here for Gallagher, but here we go. They touch gloves and we are underway in this Matt's, very exciting battle. Matt's ball. taking center control already. Matt trying to land that big winging uppercut that he has that did cause Gabe Sagman some problems. Yeah. Good Matt. Night. Matt, the natural 25er, looks bigger than Liam, who cuts down to 35, so that's pretty interesting. Matt also said the big thing he would have is pressure. He's going to try to get right in the face of Liam Gallagher. Wow, and Liam shot for a takedown. Yeah, Liam went in for the takedown. Dawson tried to get the guillotine, but now Gallagher working in guard. Very smart, very smart by Liam Gallagher to switch it up. He doesn't have to stay in the straight. If he's got the takedown, the pump is going to take him down. We'll see what Liam can do in that top position here, working in that half guard. Good, good ground and pound. Great ground and pound by Liam. We know Matt has trouble here. Matt's, let's see what Matt can do now. After his last fight, he was put on his back and he couldn't really do much. Let's see if he worked on some of the things he needed to work on so he could get back to his feet. Yeah, that's the one thing that really separated his last opponent, Gabe Sagman, from him. Because Dawson, as we said, did land some good shots that hurt Sagman towards the end of the fight, but it was too little too late as Sagman had scored the points, getting the fight on the ground, and that seems to be the blueprint here from Liam Gallagher. Get the fight to the ground against Matt Dawson. Don't let him brawl. Absolutely, and it is a great game plan, and that's for sure. And every time Le uh, uh, Dawson tries to move, Liam matches his hips, and then he throws some strikes. Big thunderous ovation for Liam Gallagher. Liam should open up a bit more body, body, head, or just get to see it, just get to open up Dawson a bit, right? Because he is staying here, he's controlling him, but he does need to work a bit more. Yeah, trying to land those big ground and pound shots. Dawson showing composure at least, not really panicked or anything, but as you did say, Ergus, he needs to try to find his way to his feet, can't just sit here and guard. Absolutely, and that's the thing, yeah, not to panic. Man, it's hard to hear you, Jason. But uh, not to panic, but he's got to show urgency. He's got to put his foot on the hips. He's got to try to shrimp and buck him and, and move him off, right? And I always say, the, the whole point is you got to try to get yourself out of there. You know, he wants to stay up there. You can't just try to push him out. You got to try to get yourself out there, and Dodds is not really doing that right now. No, he's just kind of content in the position, letting Gallagher work, pinning him down, landing those ground and pound shots when he needs to. Yeah, and great control by uh, Gallagher. Yep. He's doing what he needs to do. He's throwing his punches. He's pinning him up against the cage now, and he's controlling his hips every time Dawson tries to move. It's great work. Well, when you see who's in Liam's corner, obviously fellow broadcaster, the gentleman Josh Hill, who had to obviously leave to corner one of his star pupils here. This is kind of like an early Josh Hill fight. Absolutely, and you know, and it's a, and it's and and it's a game, and definitely Josh, they game plan that. They knew this guy was going to try to brawl, and Josh is like, "Why are you going to stand brawl with him? Let's take him to the ground." Absolutely, it's all, about career, it's all about career longevity, and it's a smart style fight. This is where Dawson needs to try to crawl, climb up, push on the head, try to get his feet on the mat and try to climb up. I know it's easier said than done, but he needs to try to do something. Yeah, it's been a very successful round here for Liam Gallagher, grinding his forehead right in the face there. It's been a smart Dawson. round for sure. Yeah, very effective, smart, taking his shots when needed, but look, there we go. That's it, as soon Dawson, as he... Dawson's able to get back to the feet. 
thunderous leg kick from Dawson. High oh, kick from Gallagher and it got him. just clipped the side of the head of Dawson. Dawson's got to be careful rushing because he is getting caught in the takedowns like that. And he's getting caught in this exchange here. Liam's comfortable now. He's comfortable in this exchange. He's comfortable taking him down. So Dawson does have to be careful with that. He just can't rush in with no, uh, with no repercussion. No, you got to be smart, especially when you had that break. But Dawson tries to take down, but good balance from Gallagher. Gallagher should try to throw some nice, nice off the break there by both gentlemen. Teeth. Nice push there. Good teeth kick there from Gallagher. Good jab. Now the brawl starting to break out, and that's the fight Dawson wants. Nice headlock. Nice attempt there by Dawson. Good little scramble at the end there by Dawson. It is Very close round. It is so loud in here, you could barely hear the horn. Very, very good at the end there by Dawson. You could bar barely hear the horn at the end of that first round, but a very good round for Liam Gallagher. What we saw in round one, get the fight to the ground, look for ground and pound, or Mi look for a submission. Mix it up, especially yeah. if Dawson's gonna come in without, you know, respecting his takedowns, take him down again, right? And I think that's what Liam wants to do. That's now kind of what Dawson wants, this wild, brawl-like fight. Dawson's got to be mindful with his underhooks. Every time he comes in, he always gives up his underhooks. He's got to be very careful. Try the judo throw did Dawson, but Gallagher was quick to it, just dropped down, and now he's got the takedown. Gallagher's hips were too tight there. He wasn't going to really throw him off of that. Gallagher was ready for that. Gallagher trying to pass. Land some good ground and pound again. But yeah. Good. If Dawson can have some of those moments at the from the end of the round at the beginning of the round, it's a different fight. Yes, absolutely. But right now, Gallagher's got side control too. This is a much better position than guard. He's able to open up as well. Oh, he's got and full he's got now. Oh, but good work from Dawson. Shook the hips, and now Very it's nice Dawson, Dawson working in guard. Let's see what he does here. Does he try to open up, or does he think? You try to keep him down and hold him for this round and try to make it 1-1. One, one. Oh, got to watch out for attack. the triangle choke. Very nice. Very He's crafty jiu-jitsu fighter is Liam Gallagher. This is a bad spot for Matt Dawson. This is a bad spot, but Dawson's Dawson able to get out. That was very tight, very tight. Very impressive. Good knee to the body from Dawson. Oh, he's got... Uh, now Dawson's trying to tee off here on Gallagher. Yeah, we all know Liam's got a good guard, so he was able to throw that up there, but how good of Dawson to escape that? And it was very deep. It was very deep. I thought that was the beginning and the end for Dawson. Spinning sidekick from Dawson just misses. He's mixing it up. He's getting... He's, he's throwing that looping uppercut, but he needs to... Nice straight hand by Liam. Liam's got to do this, play in the pocket, let him come to him. Oh, the big nice head, head kick, kick from Gallagher, but Dawson just shakes it off. <laughs> Dawson just eats it and comes back again. Well, Dawson lives up to his nickname, the Pitbull. Just a durable animal that dog is, and Gallagher once again, good right hand. High kick again, but that time Dawson saw it and did block some of it. This is exactly what Dawson needs to come in, but Liam needs to bait him a bit. Throw those strikes and then shoot in for the takedown again. There's some damage to the left eye of Matt Dawson Both from that guys head kick. Up. Dawson now He's trying to engage body. a clinch. But it's Gallagher that wins out and pushes Dawson up against the fence. Nice head control by Gallagher there. Good level switch. Trying to get that high cross takedown. Good balance Large here from Dawson, but down. he gets Very slammed nice. down. Very good awareness by Liam Gallagher to pin him on the cage and go for the takedown. Much to the round of applause from the Liam Gallagher fan base right behind us here at the broadcast booth. Absolutely. This is where Dawson needs to show, show urgency, uh, Jason. He can't camp in here. He's got to go. He's got to try to put his feet on the hips. He's got to force scrambles. He can't stay here. Liam's going to want to stay here. 
No, we saw Dawson once or twice try to find a way to get out, but it's been too content sometimes. And, and Gallagher, he'll tee off, and he has good ground and pound and submissions. Absolutely. As soon as he sees uh, Gallagher try to open up a bit, I, that's where he's got to go. That's where he's got to put the feet on the hip, and that's where he's got to try to scramble. Because right now, Gallagher's holding him. He's throwing those body-body heads, and he's just keeping him down there. Yeah, just smothering the face of Dawson right up against that BTC logo on the mat is Liam Gallagher. And this is a safe fighting here for Gallagher. The, the moments on the feet, they're, they're, they're too tentative or you're it's, not sure what's going to happen. Yes, it's smart. He, yeah. And it's good for a guy that's doing just a second MMA yeah. fight. So it's good awareness to be like, you know what? This is becoming a dog fight. I'm having success on the ground. Let me take it down again. Well, that's a dog-eat-dog -dog world right now. And right now, Liam Gallagher, his bark and his bite are lethal against the pit bull, Matt Dawson. Ten Harry. seconds left here. And there's oh, Dawson trying to go for an arm bar. And Dawson gets slammed on the back of his head. That's the horn to end the second round in a very exciting fight. Dawson's having the time of his life. He is. Dawson needs to go for those armbar attempts a little bit earlier. He did it there. He's got to force Lee, uh, Liam to open up and try to work his submissions in because twice now he went for the armbar attempt and he was able to get out. Like another Saturday night for Matt Dawson. Yeah, <laughs> big time. He's used to this type of fight. Here we go, third and final round. Both fighters, nice respect, tap of the gloves. Liam, go back on those, he's finding success with oh, those head kicks and those one-twos. That high kick is like a, an extra jab. Yeah, that's exactly what he got. Oh, and he cracks Dawson with the high kick, but Dawson just eats it and comes forward and says, bring, bring on some more. That is exactly what Dawson, this is exactly what Dawson doesn't need. No. Right here. Does not need to be taken down. This is where he spent the majority of this fight on the ground. And now Gallagher again. trying to pass the full mount. And you know what? It goes to the old saying. He's got it, actually. It, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, and you know what I mean? That's the game plan Liam's going with right now. You know? He, the ground game is what's working right now. The takedowns are working, everything's working there. So what's the point of changing it up? No, exactly, it's work. You don't need to play the striking game with Dawson, who that wild, brawling style, that pressure. Uh, you know, you don't want to play with that, especially, as you said, Argus, this is Gallagher's second pro fight. Absolutely, and he's shown maturity in there, able to switch up the game plan, able to, to grapple him, not to just strike with him, but and he's known as a striker as well. Absolutely. Gallagher just continuing to be content, being active enough where the referee doesn't have to look for a stand-up. Absolutely, <laughs> and that's the thing. Mix it up a little body, body, head. You know, keep that shoulder pressure in there, which he's doing, but other than that, he's doing a great job here controlling Matt Dawson. He's controlled wherever the fight goes on the ground is Liam Gallagher and Matt needs to get his hand on the head um, he's got to start framing hand on the hip and a, a frame he's not doing that right now he's just holding the neck and that's not Liam's going to be able to hold him here for the whole round if he doesn't do something well it's a loud crowd as we've talked about for Liam Gallagher and that's kind of drowning out some of the strategy that Dawson's corner is trying to impose on them on his ability how to get back up absolutely but even not even just this fight, but his last fight, he was kind of doing the same thing, and that's what it's like, he should start working on. He knows he's gonna be put down here sometimes. Right now, it's like, okay, how am I gonna get back up to my feet? How am I gonna avoid that, right? That is something he's gotta start working on right now. Because Liam is doing a great game plan by holding him in half guard, pinning him down, and working enough so the ref doesn't stand him up. Yeah, exactly, and that's the, the big thing, where <laughs> sometimes, you know, a fighter, with how the first two rounds go, they're kind of content thinking that there's Dawson trying to buck the hips and switch the position, but Gallagher good, has the position advantage here. He, need, full mount. he, he needs to let, he, he has to get one of the underhooks and he can't have Liam have double underhooks there because Liam's happy with just camping here and just finishing out the round like this. 
Gallagher almost gone to side control. Good elbow there from Gallagher. It's been a solid night at the office here for Liam Gallagher. Hasn't taken too much damage. Showcased he's got a good ground game, ability to get the fight to the ground, and, and as well absorb some shots as Dawson has landed some good ones on Gallagher. Absolutely. It shows that he can, he, he can switch up the style when need be. Right? He doesn't he doesn't just have the striking, but he has the grappling as well, and that and that shows. Yeah, very good grappling. A former amateur champion uh, in MFL was Liam Gallagher, a very highly touted prospect before turning pro. And you know, he's very exciting as well. We saw that in his first pro fight and can have some wild moments showing that, that youth. Absolutely. And even in this fight, he showed a bit too because Matt Dodson came in, but this right here. This is exactly what he needed to do. Took him down in the third round and rode him out. Yeah, trying to grind up Dawson up against the fence. Yeah. And, that, and that's what it is. Uh, Dawson now needs to go back to the drawing board and needs to work on how does he get back up because it's just two fights now where this has happened, where guys have Tested the striking with him, but then are like, no, and they take him down. Well, Dawson trying to throw a big heavy elbow from the bottom, but Gallagher still relentless with that pressure. Grinding on Dawson, there's a 10 second clapper. And Liam Gallagher, will he have a big flurry to finish the round? Dawson say, bring it on, and we'll see if Gallagher does bring that flurry. There's the horn, and what a fight. Great action here in the Bantamweight division. A nice show of respect between Dawson and Gallagher. And it was a good fight. And it was a good fight. Very good fight as Liam Gallagher should be moments away from moving to 2-0 and as a professional. And he took a tough fight too. He didn't say he took a fight that it was going to be this. It was going to be a scrap. Matt was going to come in. And Liam knew that. Liam had the right game plan. And he looked great tonight. BTC fight fans, please put a big round of applause together for both of the fighters in this cage. After three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Chirico scores about 30 to 26. Judge Costello has it 30 to 27. And Judge Vandermeer also has it 30 to 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Liam Gallagher! Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, Liam Gallagher. Liam, a real flawless performance. He used your takedown at will, landed ground and pound, and even weren't afraid to get into a bit of a slugfest there with the pit bull. Yeah, everybody thinks I'm just a striker. There you go. I can grapple too. I can wrestle. Well, Liam, that was a tremendous performance. How would you grade your performance tonight? It was good. There's a few things I want to change, but that's every performance. There's always stuff to work on. Well, Liam, I've been calling these shows for about two years now, and I haven't seen an ovation like this from the support. Talked about what it's like fighting with this support. Team Gallagher, baby! Well, Liam, you're a hot prospect now here at 135 pounds. You called out Matt Dawson before. You have a call out in mind, or who do you want to fight next? Isaiah Metatuck, you're next, buddy, September. Well, there you have it. Isaiah Metatuck is the call out. Liam, you want to thank any friends and sponsors? Thank you, everybody who came out to support me. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Liam Gallagher.